Well, my guest, Ken Corla, uh, I will, if I can, just very briefly address some of the messing and the nonsense just raised there. Deputy O'Rourke and the Minister, I am sure, will confirm in his contribution later, asked uh, not just a lot of questions, but a lot of extremely important questions. Um, and indeed, the capacity issues, and remember this no, no, is, no, I please, don't appreciate Deputy the interruption, Deputy, no. the capacity. Deputy Ken Corla, can you... Please. Not yes. a single reference. Please, Deputy, please let Deputy O'Reilly okay. speak. So the, the, the record will uh, entirely, entirely confirm what I have said. Plus, the issues Committee. around the capacity were raised last September. And of course, now we're here because it is an emergency. And Count Corla, I do welcome the opportunity to make a contribution this evening. Uh, I welcome some of the aims of this bill, indeed, uh, to increase the backup electricity generation capacity to ensure we have enough electricity to meet our demands over the coming years. It's needed to avoid blackouts. However, we can't escape the reasons why we have arrived at this juncture. We're here today debating this legislation as a direct result of failed government policy. And how do I know that? Because when it's pointed out to them, they get very sore, they get very fractious, and they start to interrupt people. The shortfall in electricity supply is primarily due to the rapid expansion of data centres here, fuelled by government decisions. Are we surprised? No, look at the damage that vulture funds have done to the housing market in this state while hardly paying a red cent in tax. It was Fine Gael who let these REITs into the state to wreak havoc, and it is Fine Gael who have allowed data centres to pop up everywhere. Time and again, we hear Fine Gael reps talk about Ireland Inc. And that is how they view our state as a business and not a society with a community of people. People shouldn't confuse the problems this state faces as being accidental or somehow happened by mistake. Very often, these are conscious policy decisions. The red carpet was rolled out for data centres. Fine Gael sought to make Ireland the data centre capital of the world, with no thought about the impact that this would have on our electricity supply. This is what happens when you have a political party who act more like a portfolio manager or agent for big business than acting as a government whose job it is to safeguard the, the energy security of our citizens. It is patently clear that we have a problem with the prevalence of data centres and this legislation reveals that the government finally and eventually realise this too. There are now 70 operational data centres in Ireland. Dublin has become the la largest data centre hub in Europe. And indeed, in North County Dublin, there are a number of data centres currently under construction. So we know where the problems lie. We know what has caused them. And we know indeed where to lay the blame when we find ourselves in this you, emergency Deputy. situation. Gormaigas, Ken Thank you very much.